Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be creating this purple smoky eye. So to begin, I've already started by priming my lids. I'm using this gorgeous matte eyeshadow, matte beige eyeshadow, and I'm popping this all over my lid. I'm using a fluffy blending brush. This is the F28 from Blank Canvas, and I'm using this to blend this all over the lid to set my primer and just give it a nice base shade. Next, I'm going in with my transition shade. So I'm taking this matte orange, kind of burnt orange color. I love this as a transition. So keeping my eyes open, I'm blending this back and forth across my crease. So just really buffing it out. Then I'm taking a brighter orange shade and again following the same steps. But this time I'm focusing kind of closer to the lid of my eyes. So I'm going right deep into the crease. So I'm naturally creating that lovely kind of fade out as I go up to the brow bone. So next I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and a purple eyeshadow and I'm just packing this onto the lid. Also taking a gold hair brush and a little bit of the purple eyeshadow and just kind of smoking it out into the crease. Um, so it kind of fades into the orange shade. Now I'm going in and filling in my brows. I normally don't do this before my my foundation but I wanted to create a lovely strong brow to complement the eyes uh, so I went in and filled in my eyebrows I kind of traced out the outline with Benefits Cabrow because it's a gel I found that I could get a nice clean line uh, with it so I went in first with that and then using my own brow powder I just filled in the hairs in between for a softer finish to clean up the shape and really define the eyebrows, I went in with the E27 brush from Blank Canvas and a bit of Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and just kind of concealed around the edges and then set with the highlighter from my brow palette. Now I'm going in with the E03 brush from Blank Canvas. I love this because it's so tiny that you can really get that pop of color. It's great for holding on to pigments as well if you just want to do like kind of like a little spotlight like I'm doing here. And I wet my brush with a bit of setting spray so it really makes the pigment pop. And this is a gorgeous pigment from Inglot. I just absolutely adore it. So I'm using mascara from my own beauty line and just very lightly coating my top lashes. I will be applying lashes on a bit later on so I just wanted to give them um, a little bit of definition before I put on my lashes. I'm just going into my Moon Dust palette and taking this gorgeous pink highlight shade and again uh, spraying a little bit of setting spray on it and just popping it into the inner corner and then I'm putting on my eyelashes. These are the Huda Beauty Lashes and Samantha. I absolutely adore them. They're lovely and fluttery and dramatic without being too heavy on the eye. You don't feel like you're wearing lashes. I just absolutely adore them and they fit perfectly on my eyes as well. Um, I'm just lining my waterline using the MAC liner. This is just a brown liner. I didn't want to go with a nude or a black. I just wanted something a little bit softer. Taking a pencil brush, I'm just taking a little bit of the purple eyeshadow and just sweeping it back and forth across my lower lash line and then finishing off with a bit more mascara. Moving on to the face, I've already applied my foundation, I used the Clinique's Match Perfecting Foundation and now I'm going in with an angled brush and the Hoola Light Bronzer. I'm using the top of my ear and the corner of my mouth as a guide and stopping just at the end of my eyebrow. And then I'm taking this fat brush from Blank Canvas, it's the F31 and I'm using this foundation from the Balm, uh, I just use it as a powder because it's quite lightweight and I'm just using it to chisel out my contour and get rid of any mistakes. And then I'm going in with a bit of blush from the Becca Cosmetics uh, Prosecco Pop kind of split pan. And I'm using the Prosecco Pop then as a highlighter. So I just like a very soft, kind of a peachy brown blush and then the highlight. I just wanted to keep the skin very soft and dewy because there's so much going on with the eyes and the lips as well. I fancied going for a matte brown lip so I went in with the Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K. Uh, liner and also the matching liquid lipstick. I just love them so much um, So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial Let me know if you have any requests or any videos that you'd like to see and I look forward to chatting with you in the comments Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week